You want to look good forever. You're trying to slay forever, okay? So you want to be 100 years old and be like, <laughs> yes, I had that shea butter. She told me about that shea butter. I never look back. Like, you need the shea butter for real. Hey my loves, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my skincare routine. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe down below by hitting that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Um, so we're going to get right into this video. Basically I'm going to share all the products and things that I use on my face. The best advice that I can give is make sure that your um, diet is actually clean. Um, I know it's probably hard to eat veggies and stuff like that, but you want to make sure that you're not eating a lot of junk because that's a part of actually why you can have acne. So um, you want to at least have some vegetables and make sure your diet is not all over the place and unhealthy. And you also want to make sure that you drink a lot of water. So the first product that I use on my face is the African Black Soap. This is what I use to wash my face with all the time, all the time. This is a new one that I didn't open up yet, obviously. Um, it's still in its wrapper thingy, but um, I bought a new one because I ran out. So I've been using my liquid African black soap, but this is the bar African black soap. So there's a bar soap and there's a liquid. This one is, this is the one that I always use from forever. Like I've been using it for years now. Basically, this is what it looks like. This is 100% African black soap. This is from Ghana. You want to make sure that it is unscented. It's, you know, it's the best thing for your skin. You don't want anything that has fragrance in it um, or perfume or anything. You don't want any of that on your skin. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already know about African black soap, but African black soap basically helps clear your skin, um, get rid of dark spots, um, clears acne, and it basically just gives you a cool, clean look to your face. Um, African black soap can actually be a little drying on the skin, so you wanna make sure that you have something that you can moisturize your skin with. This is what I moisturize my skin with, my face, my body, my whole entire body is all in shea butter. I don't use like um, Victoria's Secret um, lotions and stuff all in my body anymore. I use shea butter strictly shea butter and it keeps my skin hydrated and um nice and soft like i have like really really soft skin and it's because of the shea butter so using shea butter definitely helps because once i put shea butter on my skin i don't have to worry about it later at all i don't have to worry about having ashy knees ashy elbows ashy hands because this literally lasts all day so once you put it on in the morning or whatever or when you take a shower you don't have to worry about it later you don't have to worry about ashiness or anything because it's literally non-existence when you have shea butter so the thing about shea butter is that if it is in a warm place and it's really hot then it melts and when it's in a cool place it is a solid so let me just take a piece of shea butter so this is the texture of it it's really just buttery but it's like a solid if you put friction to it by like rubbing it on your hand or just you know putting friction to it just rubbing it in it becomes really really creamy and then it melts so I can just lather it all over my hand <laughs> I was gonna say something else I want to lather all over my hands and as you can see it's all gone it just gives that skin that glow so the shea butter is also great when you shave so like after you shave and if you're someone who's concerned with like uh, razor bumps or anything like that then this is perfect for aftershave you know you want to make sure that when you shave uh, it, the area is not dry that's just a little tip I love what it does for my body and my skin so it's a definitely go to I'm trying to tell you you would not get disappointed the only thing that some people might have concerns with is the smell it smells natural so it has a natural smell to it before I never really liked the smell of shea butter but I'm so used to it now so it's like natural like I don't know I just smell like a natural woman you know <laughs> another thing that I actually use when I want to um, moisturize my skin is coconut oil 
This is the unrefined coconut oil. It hasn't been altered. There's no added ingredients. This is just 100% um, unrefined coconut oil. And it's virgin too, by the way. So same thing as the shea butter it is a solid in the jar in cool temperatures but then once it is warm or hot then it becomes a liquid i use coconut oil on my skin i use it on my hair after i style it just so it can have a nice um, shine to it this is shea butter hand right here and this is coconut hand you see the difference this is shea this is coconut they're both great moisturizers. My routine is pretty simple. It's nothing like super complicated. I don't use too many products on my skin because I don't feel the need to do that. What I use to exfoliate my skin is the Even and Bright by Scent Ives. And this is the Pink Lemon and Mandarin um, Orange Scrub. And this is what it looks like. You can find this at Target. You can find this at any drugstore. I really, really like this because it evens my tone and it makes my skin look a lot more radiant. So I love this and I've been using Scent Ives for the longest time. What I use to get my makeup off is the Simple Wipes. And this is for sensitive skin. And I bought this at Target. So it's for sensitive skin and it removes waterproof mascara and it just moves, removes makeup, period and um, it has no harsh chemicals in it, which is what I really love about it. And if you go, if you just turn it around, it basically shows you that, you know, it, it doesn't have any artificial perfumes, it doesn't have any dyes, it doesn't have any chemicals that will upset your skin, no alcohol, no paraben, and it's dermatology tested. This is really great because I do have sensitive skin, so I absolutely love this to remove my makeup. And basically what I do when I'm removing my makeup is that I grab some um, makeup wipes, I remove the makeup from the surface of my skin. So after I use my makeup wipes, the makeup is completely not off. Um, so you gotta make sure that you actually wash your face with a soap. So what I like to use is this spa, um, system and it has a facial brush and it's great for uh, your body and it's waterproof this is what I love about it it's by instrumental beauty this is the actual device and you apply the brushes onto the head of the device in this home spa treatment system it includes a body brush a facial brush a microdermabrasion sponge and a petty smoothing stone it also comes with its own batteries so you don't have to get your own i use this in the shower because it is waterproof so you don't have to worry about you know getting electrocuted or anything but this is awesome i love it it's great for removing dead skin cells thank you guys so much for watching i hope you really enjoyed this video and you kind of have an idea of how my skincare routine is i just love i just love you giga mind for me baby ja know me love you so much take your time me not in a no rush and you tell me look but don't touch me put my hand on my side